So Bob Grover's recent uh, post of his incredible uh, recall stimulated me to uh, give a s small short demo on how we're going to use the collage function to post multiple collages so these recalls will be easier to interpret. So I'm in my filter uh, and I've, I've filtered uh, for pre-op one, post-op one. So l let's go ahead and load this case. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Here's another one, five, six, seven, and here's eight. So let's go ahead and load the collage, apply the template, and there they are. I'll get rid of the borders for this case. I'll add the dates. And there they are. So this goes through 2001 and 2012. Then I'll just save it. Now the collage is saved, but I also want to do other recalls that I've done. And I want to attach those to the email. So what you do, if you go over to the left side uh, of the form, you'll see the collage is posted here. And if I click one here, it loads it as an attachment. So I just did a quick series of uh, recall queries here. I'm going to add these all. And let's add some other ones that I've done previously. Just to make it complicated. Let's put in one that I did of Marga's. Now you have them here and if I want to change the order of them I just press these up or down buttons and I can change the order in which they appear. But let's go ahead and email that and I can email it to TDO Clinical as well. I'm going to do that later uh, after the uh, screen cam is finished and you'll, you'll be able to see how that comes through. So if I go to my Gmail account here it is, it's come up, and when I load it, you can see it provides a linear view of all of your attachments in one email, and you can go right through them. So this will allow us to post many, many recalls in one email sequentially in a linear order that are created in the collage.